hello on this friday, the twenty third day of may two thousand and eight. i'm kristen volk with the upi headline update senator john mccain is in generally good health that's according to mccain's medical records that were recently released saying he's got a strong heart and is cancer free the presumptive republican presidential nominees campaign made documents available to the associated press that's so they could make the case that he's healthy enough to serve as president and to dispel the idea that he's too old the Arizona senator is 71 and would be the oldest elected president. Meanwhile, Senator John McCain has rejected the endorsement of a preacher criticized for his statements about Jews. Reverend John Hagee, who's a Texas televangelist, reportedly told his congregation during a sermon in the 1990s that Adolf Hitler had fulfilled a biological prophecy by pushing Jews out of Europe and into Israel. The Arizona senator called the remarks deeply offensive. McCain also said that his relationship with Hagee doesn't compare to Senator Barack Obama's lengthy association with Reverend Jeremiah Wright. And talk of a possible Obama-Clinton ticket is growing. Former President Bill Clinton is reportedly pushing his wife for vice president if she can't win the Democratic presidential nomination. And Clinton's campaign is apparently in talks with Obama's campaign about the matchup. On the other side, Senator John McCain will host several Republican vice presidential contenders at his home in Sedona, Arizona this weekend. And the Senate has passed a multi-billion dollar bill to fund the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan until President Bush's successor takes over. The vote came just minutes after a majority of GOP senators voted to add tens of millions of dollars for veterans college aid and extending unemployment benefits. There are provisions that Bush opposes and he's promised to veto the bill if it contains those domestic spending measures. The legislation needs to be approved by the House before it goes to the president. And that's all for now. For all of us at UPI, have a safe and wonderful weekend.